weeks earlier. Dan oh cheat my name is Daniel in this game. I've been trying to slip into a lucid dream for several days now, and today I think I'll manage it. I'm going to imagine myself playing at the piano. Straining the muscles of my two fingers, it'll help me fall asleep faster. I need to concentrate. I miss entire games, I have like quick time events like this instead of drive me nuts. All the visuals in this so far, it's actually just really damn good. Is it a dream or reality? Like, can I breathe with my nose and mouth closed? Definitely I can. I need to look at my hands. I'm like a bird, I want to fly away, I don't know where my brain is, <laughs> I'm sorry, I did it, I finally did it. Oh god, I, I need some weed for this, I don't even smoke pot. Wee. I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. Radiant one. This looks fucking gorgeous. Now I can do whatever I want every day. Gets hit by the plane. Your dream has come true. You have learned to control your dreams. You could imagine anything and it could happen. You never went a day without entering into a lucid dream. Increasingly enabled to tell deep dreams from reality. The boundaries... This is loud. Holy shit. Hey, can you actually hear the audio? Yeah, the audio ain't popping through. Hold on. Yeah, it ain't. Hold on. Alright, there we go. There we go. Your dream has come true. You have to learn to control your dreams. You can imagine anything that could happen. You never want a day without entering. Yeah, because I took my headset out basically and plugged it in after. That's what happened. Past the point of no return. Alright, should be good now, right? It's been a hard day. Now I want to... All I want now is to get some sleep as soon as possible. Seems like I'm sleeping a lot, even more than usual, but every day I come home more and more tired. My face looks like I haven't slept since yesterday. Do I need to start getting concerned?
an arm is set. It's time to hit the sheets. Book about lucid dreams. A decent manual for beginners. I'm still keep rereading the some chapters and reminding myself. I guess I've got quite a bit of experience with my belt from these past two weeks. I don't know why, but it seems to me a it's easy for me to control my dreams while others spend months training. I've waited so long for this game to come out, I still haven't even touched it. Tonight it seems like a fate is just not on my side, I'm too tired. One new message. Ah, it's from Sam. Business, what else? Overwhelmed with stuff to do since morning. Now I feel even more tired. Alright, is the sound coming through now? Let me check. It is. All right, concentrate. I don't understand. How do I get in this hotel? What's happening? Oh, homie, you're in fucking Twin Peaks. Get the fuck out of there, buddy. Get the fuck out of here. This is that wood shit. You don't deal with the wood shit. You get out of it. Bad feeling about this. What the hell? What? <laughs> Fuck you. I know I saw that thing there, but... Okay, it was part of the game. My hand, it's bleeding. I think I had some bandages in the bathroom. Come on, buddy. Get those bandages together. Alright, we can do it. The wound is real. You really don't understand what's happening. Your head is now exploding from lots of questions, to which you have no answer. But there's one thing that concerns you the most. When you go to bed next time, will this thing come again? If it comes, what are your chances of escape? You bandaged your wound. You phoned your office and told them you were taking the day off before nightfall. You need to collect as much information as possible what to do in this situation and how to avoid it. I've searched all over the internet and still can't find any trustworthy accounts of someone being wounded in a dream. Well, I can tell you a couple. It's called Nightmare on Elm Street, buddy. There's not one out there who doesn't sound like the ravings of a madman. Am I the one, only one going mad? Damn, it's just pizza. I'm just so nervous. Well, get the fucking pizza. Jesus Christ. I'm coming! Why, is this the freaking... Good evening, sir. Here's your pizza. Good evening. Thank you.
Motherfucker got some Chinese on that desk too. That man knows his priorities. I'm scared. I'm really started scared of falling asleep again. Or to find out this reality is just another dream. I need to find out how I can make myself wake up. The book must have something written about all this. I want the pizza? Fuck the book. Dude, digging that pizza, you asshole. Chapter 1, go get a slice, you dick. You've read this book multiple times, but never paid attention to the chapter about how to make the dream come to an end quickly. Some of the tips seem ineffective. Others are things you may have already tried to follow through in your dreams, subconsciously with no success. The vice that grabbed your attention was the idea that you were supposed to find something in a dream that usually comes... That usually wakes you up, like an alarm clock or something with a similar sound. Your brain would respond to a familiar sound and you would wake up. That was pretty legit. Late that night, you still decide to go into bed, hoping the nightmare would not happen again. But yeah, the idea of that monster is very reminiscent of Twin Peaks. That's as I thought as much. At least now I gotta find a way to get out of here. I need to find something that sounds like my alarm clock. If I stay here, a thing, this thing will come for me. Better find a way out. Alright, clock? Of course. Whatever. That simple, is it? Creepy hotel. What, can you find a hotel alarm system, maybe? Thanks for the heads up. This guy had the... Dwindle and lucid dreams. Strange stories didn't have a handle. inventory system or something. Oh, quick grab and get out of here. Okay. Okay, so it does have an inventory system. I like it. There's a fucking handle right in that door. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, really? Now the door has a handle. So what do I do with mines now? Shove it up your ass. I don't know. Well, fuck you. My brain wasn't paying attention to that the uh, wheel there. Did eat the pizza. Damn it. I'm sweating all over. Even the sofa got wet. Crazy. I need to take a shower. I think you need to eat that pizza. Yo, buddy, I think you need to eat that pizza, man. That pizza's just sitting there. That's 
fucking bugging the shit out of me right now. I'm like hungry and that motherfucker is just sweltering goddamn pizza. You receive information that sleep is deadly for you, so you decide to hold out without sleep as long as possible. It may be difficult, given that you hardly slept last night. In the morning, you went to the store and bought a large supply of energy drinks. Well, there you go. You just you just destroy your nerves and system and all that with the drinks. You stayed at home all day, struggling with drowsiness, and as bad luck would have it, the rain poured down excessively. And so it is already in the dead of night. Ty, it's a whale! Look! It's a whale! Ty, we got another whale here! Woo! Me and these fucking whales! Well, that's why I call deep sleep. Strange. This path... This paved path looks painfully familiar. Here only darkness. I can't make out what's beyond it. Well, you don't want to know, buddy. Just, just keep walking, Daniel. Just keep walking. I not like what you see out there. This is actually a pretty excellent game. I mean, I don't like the quick time shit, but I'm liking everything else around it. Wow, what are they doing here? my childhood home. He's fighting the demons of his past that haunt him in his dreams? This is really happening. I can't believe my eyes. How did they end up on the second floor? AV out. Ah. Uh, Overlook Hotel. I remember the day... That I watched this movie, I guess I was too young for stuff like that then. So many memories. My older brother and I slept, spent countless hours in front of the TV watching cartoons and movies on videos. Hmm, video cable's missing. I guess it could have got to. I wonder where I've got. Could have gotten to. There. I can use word spray. Locked. Locked. This room is a bit like a pantry, so father usually sat and was working on his computer. Danny, come down to the basement. I'll show you something. Nah, I'm, I'm good, buddy. I'll... I don't want to see your dangling. Budge. It's only the bathroom. Danny, I'm here. This is so strange. I recognize my brother's voice. He's calling me to the basement. It's like the basement itself is calling me. Basement is locked. If I remember correctly, my mother kept the key on the cabinet in the kitchen. I kind of like the way this house is designed. It's very roomy. Yeah, yeah, a lot like that. With the uh, polygon style. This is my parents' room. Locked. 
So, I wouldn't necessarily keep a checkers and chessboard there. Oh, there. This is the kitchen. Peter Brown kept the key to the bit. How did I go? How did I get this one wrong? Even makes me a little sad. The key isn't here. Might as well check the key holder next to the back door. The key to the basement is not here. It figures. It's unlikely it'll ever hang it here. Check the cushion of the couch. Oh, the sofa. Just as soft as I remember it. Think about all the great evenings we had on the sofa. Most of all, I remember that Christmas then. Damn. Where did that sound come from? The TV on the second floor was mine and my brother's. And this one was the family one. Let's see if this old thing is still working. Hmm. It doesn't work. Use the power cable for the video player. TV out. In the bathroom. I'm not opening that fucking door, buddy, so. Basement. A wind chime. That was close. I was running so fast I felt the, it, the key fell out of my pocket. Wait a minute. Closet key. This isn't the same key. What a weird dream. The closet? It's a room on the second floor. I guess I need to go there. But salty. Look who's here, I've been waiting for you. Did you have a good trip? The hell of a storm we're having. Follow me, I'll show you the way to your workplace. You got a lot of work to do. I brought our friend, you might as well report him and not report him up for showing up late today. It's excusable for such foul weather. Yeah, the storm is terrible. Can you imagine my brother's car hit the, hit the ditch and turned upside down because of the gush of water mixed in the mud? It's happened today in Vieira country. Unfortunately, my brother is okay. Goodness, my parents live in Vieira. I wonder how they're doing there. Anyway... Work won't do itself. Let's go, mate. We've got a lot of work to do. big work hard what are you looking at come on you got a lot of work to do I 
whatever these demons are doing, here's your workplace. Grab a seat. Working on the work train, coal train, coal train. Working on the coal train, coal train, coal train. Working on the work train, work train, work train. Working on the work train, motherfucker gotta work on the work train, work train. Clicking for no fucking reason. This is really pointless. Really pointless. Working on the fucking train. Gonna click this fucking thing. Hoping got something to gain. Gonna keep on clicking on this fucking button. No reason. Keep on trucking all day. Gotta keep on clicking. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Why did you stop? You got a lot of work to do. What just happened? Everything's a blur. Why do I feel so tired? I'm back to the second floor now. I've got the key to the closet. I need to use it before something turns the use out. Something else pops up again. Halloween, 1996. I remember these tapes. Father liked to shoot videos just about everything that happened. Important or trivial, especially me and me and my brother. We amassed quite a collection. What? What is this tape about? Oh, really? Looks like I'm getting somewhere. What this whole thing is about. I need to watch the tape right now to make sure. I don't know where the fuck that music came from, by the way, in my head. Let's see. Ends up being like the, the wedding night by mistake. Time to go downstairs! Yeah! Steve! I can't find you! This is before his balls dropped. Where are you? Danny! Come down to the basement! I got to show you something! I'm becoming a man! Okay. Are you sure? Yes, you gotta see this! It's huge! Okay. Oh my god! Where are you, Steve? I'm inside! Come here! I don't know how to play, but my mom said she'll teach me soon. No. <laughs> Thank you, Lion Art, for that host. Steve, where are you? Oh, hell no. Fucking Twin Peak shit again. How you doing, Lion Art? Hope you're doing well today. Thank you, Tai Tai, for that shadow command. Okay, enough. I don't want to watch any further. That day was like a nightmare. I all like to have forgotten about it, but now I remember what had happened. I was six years old. My brother scared me by dressing up in a black cloak. But I still can't understand why I'm dreaming this now. Yeah, part two looks kind of cool. I've not played part one at all, but it looks pretty uh, decent. But I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to mute my microphone and then head downstairs. But um, for anyone who comes in, welcome. As well as thank you, 
lion for that host. I'm going to go ahead here, go downstairs, go see what the family wants.
I am back. Sorry about that. I was it was actually dinner, so I ate it really fast. Starving, so I was like, just fuck. You should have seen me. I was like a goddamn monster. Like, you know, just hurt my roof of my mouth a little bit. But there you have it. <sighs> It was, uh, beef with beef rice, whatever the hell it is. Like, uh, it's kind of like, a um, how's it called? rice roni There we go. It's like rice roni but it was like a generic brand. It actually tasted all right. So, yeah, we're going to be continuing on here for a little while longer than I'm going to call it. At least for this game. This is my brother, so... Little, why is he crying? Where'd he touch you? Steve, it's me, Danny. Why are you crying? Danny? I'm sorry. It's alright, Steve. I stopped being angry with you long ago. We were just kid little kids back then. Uh, I didn't mean to frighten you so much. Because of me, you now have nightmares. You might even die, and it's all my fault. What are you talking about, Steve? How can you know that when I'm in danger? I know who's after you, Daniel. You've gone a little too far trying to control your dreams. You caught their attention. Who are they? Who are you talking about, Steve? What do you know? These creatures, they live in dreams. They can't cross the line between dream and reality, but when that line blurs away in someone's mind, they come in for that person. They come in swarms, like moths drawn to the light. And what do they do? They feed on your fear and turn your dreams into nightmares. They wake it up. They take on the appearance of what scares you most. Thing that scares you, and the thing that scares you is me, Danny. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Steve, please. Yeah, this is the police, though. It, it does look pretty cool. Well, thank you, Ty Ty. Today I'm going to stop being afraid of them. I'm going to look my fear in the eyes. Because I know that it's my brother hiding underneath that costume, and he really doesn't mean me any harm. Right, Steve? Yes, that's right, Danny. Aww. Yes, I'll do it. And what are you planning to do next? Maybe we can play together. We'll watch some cartoons? Or get in the closet and play on the computer? I'm sorry, Steve, but I have to leave. In fact, I'm already 28 years old, and this place is no longer my home. Uh, why did you move to the next... Why? Did you move to the house next door? No. To another street? Another city, Steve. Far away from here. Did you leave Portland? Aww. Yeah, the rain definitely tightens up cords and shit outside, so it's all... Actually, no, it's actually cold, technically, down the shower. It's actually, I clicked it. It, um... Like, cold, especially with, like, fiber optic wires, it tightens the cords and shit. It's like... So it makes it have issues. Yes, Steve, this nightmare will come... will end today. S-T-E-V-E... -E, Steve! That's me! Yeah, right. Yes, Steve. This nightmare will end today. Let's write it down to my handy dandy no. 
I'm gonna draw a heroin needle. Gonna draw the tip. Gonna draw the cylinder. There we go. Uh, yes. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's all fucked up. <laughs> Wait, Daddy, are you still here? Yes. You need to wake up. Wake up, you mean, you mean... What do I might try and do now? Wake up from this nightmare? No, wake up from the re in the real world. I don't understand. Reality is just like a dream, and dreams and are just like reality. You can understand, but you can't live like this forever. When was the last time you talked to me? Well, somewhere around... You don't forget... You didn't forget about me, did you? No, just... There's no need to answer. I know the answers to all my questions, Danny. It's all because I am. It's all because you are nothing but your imagination. Nothing but my imagination. Wake up, little brother. This house still was confined within its walls, but my brother disappeared and I realized he wasn't real. The rain stopped because those creatures are losing their power. I need to go down to the basement, put an end to my fear once and for all. Uh, yeah, radiant one. It's really good so far. I feel no fear anymore. As soon as I am the only one who controls my dreams. That's right, you tell Freddy Krueger to go fuck himself. Thank you, Tata, for that link. But yeah, that's the game right here I'm currently playing. Steve, whatever you are, I'm not afraid of you! God damn it, you are trapped in your dreams. Fuck you, game. I hate this goddamn quick time shit. Hey, blah blah blah. All right, prepare myself. I'm not afraid of you, and then blah, blah. Make him your bitch, Danny. That's right. It's gone. It's finally gone. So, that's why I remember the red curtains. was our old house. We such a cozy, love, beautiful place. What an odd feeling. Maybe I should go visit my parents this summer. Aww. Yeah, go visit them, buddy. the Doritos at the bottom there. Fuck, I want some damn Doritos now. Fuck, I want some Doritos. Son of a bitch, I want some Doritos right now. Some sweet and spicy one. Mm. Uh, I wish I could use my Steam shit to buy some Doritos. <laughs> that night, I can't believe it's over. Everything is over. That Everything is over. Damn. Do I really need this? Well, now I miss my brother. Okay, 
such a beautiful morning, and to be honest, it's been ages since I felt so refreshed after sleeping. So alive. How long has it been since we saw each other? Almost two years now. Ever since I left, it feels like I've burned my bridges. Is he angry with me at, at for this? Go get some more Doritos, buddy. Only one way to find out. Funny answers his phone. Hey Steve! Fuck you, Dan! Oh shit, I'm sorry, man. Oh fuck. Radiant one. Oh, that was a short ass game, but it was pretty good. Radiant one. Man, you kind of surprised I beat it so damn fast. Uh, that was like one of those type of experiences where it was good, but you were hoping kind of for more gameplay. That was kind of the bummer out of it. Yeah, I've been trippy. Some Inception shit. I'm actually thinking about. Uh, saving Audius Cosmos in his robot quest for Thursday as kind of like a pre sharing before I actually do the main course, if you will, with the uh, the start of Twinson's Odyssey or little big uh, little big adventure. The Freddy Krueger comes out. Going on. Come on, what? What is she talking about? Uh, don't tell me family's aggroing. That's going to be quite annoying. Uh. Well, at least I got that game done just in time. 